welcome to Battle of the Partners, where we take expert players from regular partnerships and turn them into rivals over an eight-board challenge. This episode features a father and son partnership, Tor and Frederick Hellness. Tor is one of the greatest players in the history of the game. Winner of four world championships, as well as many European and North American championships, including the Vanderbilt, the Spin Gold and the Risinger, he has won pretty much everything throughout his enormously successful bridge career. His son Freddy followed in Tor's footsteps by becoming a professional bridge player, and the pair have won Norway's prestigious international tournament, the Maritzvies, together twice, in 2016 and 2017. When we recorded the challenge, Tor had never played so much as a single hand with a robot before, so he was not used to their little ways. Okay, this is going to be exciting for me, but I start my normal bid here will be two diamonds which I guess forcing two or one. Uh, what, three diamonds? Forcing to three. Okay. This looks promising. He has, his three diamond bid shows four card hard diamond support. I don't, I have no idea how we bid after this. I start with three hearts. Obviously showing something in hearts. We see what he bids. Three now Trump. That was not what I was hoping for. A bit, a little bit pessimistic now. I'm not sure whether I would like to be in six diamonds or four spades here. It's very close. In six diamonds, you need a spade to go for one loser. But she, since he had a stiff heart, that's all that's it's a good contract in six diamonds would prefer to play six diamonds here but i thought since he bid three no trump with this hand i don't i don't agree with his three no trump bid he has a stiff heart and no stop ring clubs i would prefer him to bid four diamonds with that hand oh my god diamond to rough what a banker. Can I claim here? I try. Yes. I agree with Tor, no surprise there, that his robot partner's choice of three no trumps rather than four diamonds was questionable in the light of a two over one response in diamonds. Nothing very challenging about the play, despite the early rough. Let's see if Freddy can reach one of the two making slams. Okay, so my partner opened one spade. Yeah, I'm gonna bid two diamonds. I'm guessing that's forcing for one round. Three diamonds. Showing four diamond support. Okay, then I would like to make a slam try in spades. Or maybe I should make it a diamond step, I think. Yeah, I think uh, if partner has the king of clubs, I can pitch a spade on the 
on the king of clubs and diamond contract will be better. So I hope four clubs will be a cubit here. Yes. Blackwood, this is looking very good. I'm guessing five clubs is zero or three, but I have four, so. Yep. You have all the key cards. Yeah, but I don't know anything. I have showed basically all my cards, so I'm just gonna sign off in six diamonds. See if partner does something more. No, might have missed a good sli grand slam here. If partner has the right hand, ah, we're missing the king of spades. Yeah, so there's not that big a difference between diamonds and uh, spades, it looks like, but diamonds is definitely the, the, the best slam. So I'm gonna try to. If I can rough a couple of diamonds and uh, play a spade to the queen after eliminating some hearts and clubs, maybe east will be end played. So that's what I'm going to try to do. But yeah. Could pull one round of trumps. Uh, okay, he had three diamonds. Then it doesn't look good for any sort of end play, but I can still... Just have to be a bit careful now. Okay, so I draw trumps and play spade to the queen. I'm home if I can always rough two diamonds later, and yeah, I'm just gonna play for the spades to work. I don't see any. When the diamonds play 3-0, there's no extra chances, I think. Not that I can see, at least. So, yeah. Just gonna draw trumps. And I'm gonna do the safety... Safety play in spades, where I play spade today's. In case of a stiff king in east. No stiff kings, now I'm gonna have to play a spade to the queen. Yeah, okay, so now I can claim. I don't know if that's possible against the. No. Just have to play it out, I think. Yeah, so with the way the cards were, both six spades, uh, six spades was also making, but six diamonds was lo a lot better. Okay. The bidding started the same way, one spade, two diamonds, three diamonds. Yeah. Then maybe four clubs was the best bid, it worked out this time. I preferred three hearts to hope for, to, to get three spades from a partner, which then I would bid slam. But, but what does three hearts even show? That sounds like you don't... That shows four hearts and five diamonds and a strong okay. hand. Okay. And, and when my partner, over my three hearts, the robot bid three no trumps. That, th I think, was a very bad bid. He had five, yes, one, the, five. I, I, I agree that the, the three no trumps was, was a strange bid, uh, but... Uh, he had a minimum, and uh, he didn't think you had any spade support. But I, I think the way to, to slam is so short. Uh, I mean, ace king to five spades and uh, queen of hearts, queen of diamonds is uh, makes for a great slam. That's what you what you're looking for? Ace king fifth and the queen of hearts, queen of diamonds. Then it's a good slam. They can't attack the heart, uh, the hearts uh, in the lead. That yeah, was not nine it, points. It, yeah, but you need a heart finesse and a spade 3-2. It doesn't help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
true, but uh, yeah, he has to have something more. I mean, the Queen of Spades or the King of Clubs. Then the Spades 3 2 or Heart Finesse. But yeah, I don't know. I thought the uh, road to six diamonds looked qu quite short. Yeah. So I thought it would be. I like to, when I play with partners I don't know very well, I like to keep it simple. And four clubs is I <laughs> very thought, simple. I thought three hearts was a simple bid. But I, I, I see the point is that it's, it looks more slam orientated when you bid four clubs. So maybe that was a better bid. Yeah, I was not too afraid of going off in five diamonds. So no, no, I, no. Just, uh... I understand that. I was not afraid either. But when he bid three no trump, I gave him a full picture of my hand with four spades. Three, four, five, one. Yeah, then but he passed. Then he passed. And then he should probably have... Yeah, he had kind of a weak hand, so I have right. some sympathy for him, but uh, he should probably have done something over that bit. But well, I don't, I don't feel so bad about my three heart bit, but uh, yeah, it, but it, uh, it didn't work out. Freddy's club cue left the robot no room for doubt on that hand, and I think we're all learning that that's often the best way to handle these non-human partners. That result gave Freddy an early lead of 10 imps, and board two offered neither the opportunity to pull that back, nor any bidding or play of interest. Both hellnesses went one off in two hearts, so we move on to board three, with that lead of Freddy's still intact. I'm a dealer here. Very easy one heart opening. But this might be an interesting hand. Oh my God, what is this? Three spade must be a good race in hearts. Let's see. Cubit, three spade, 13. Four no trump here is key card, I guess. One or four. We try six hearts. I need some luck with the clubs. Ah, club lead. Oh, yo, yo, look at the hand he has. Jesus Christ. Well, there's no problems in the play here. I had six hearts and six hearts in the dummy. That's 12. All the trump is gone. I claim. Now, plus one. Did I get plus one? It should be in seven. I don't, I don't understand this bit, but. Turns out you didn't need luck in clubs or indeed anywhere. Once again, nothing to challenge Tor or even a much lesser player in the play there, but maybe an opportunity to do things differently in the bidding. Oh, big hand. This is definitely worth a two club opening bid, but um, it's very hard to show this type of hand in my experience if you open two clubs. So I would really like to open one heart and rebid three clubs. That's, but uh, I think this hand is just too strong for that, to be honest. I'm afraid of getting one heart passed out. If partner has two small hearts and three small clubs, it's a good game or almost game. So I'm going to start with two clips. Partner has diamonds and a good hand. That doesn't really help me. Ooh, Blackwood. He had hard support. That's very good. Let's see what he does now. All the key cards. Okay. So he has... Ace of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts, and he must have a bit more for this bid. I'm still afraid that partner has three small clubs and we don't have enough entries to live off the diamonds, but I'm going to bid six clubs and show the King of Clubs. Hopefully partner can do something more positive. Yeah, seven hearts. But they actually called it a sign-off. <laughs> That's a bit funny. Okay. 
a oh <laughs> yeah this is claim we can have the monster hand So the tramps are drawn, I just have to rough a couple of clubs. Now I can claim. Unfortunately, I don't think I picked up any imps on that board because it was a very, even if you open one heart, you're going to manage to bid seven. That was, uh, I don't understand no, that, how you missed the Grand Slam. Yeah, but they would, they would listen what happened to me. I opened one heart. Yes. There's a one spade over call. And, <laughs> and my partner bid three spades. Yeah. Yeah, that must be some sort, sort of heart race. Yes, splinter. Yeah, and then it's got four spades on the next hand. I bid Blackwood. Yeah. Seems normal. And I got one ace. What should I bid now? We're playing with a computer. You know he has four cards heart support, so I don't care about the Queen of Hearts. I would bid six clubs. Oh. I was bid... I bid six hearts only. No, no, but you know that he has the Ace of Diamonds, at least four hearts. And if say, now uh, six hearts was uh, very, not a good bid tour. <laughs> no, I agree. That was too quick. I should uh, give him a chance with six clubs. So that was my mistake, pure mistake. Tor acting a little too hastily in the bidding on that board, the novelty of the robot experience unsettling him, perhaps, and I made him stop eating his ice cream, which in hindsight might have been a little bit upsetting. Another 11 imps to Freddy then, and a mounting deficit for Tor to make up as we head into board four. Tor starts this hand in a quiet, reflective mood. Don't adjust your sound. The question is here. I risk a takeout double. Oh my God, four hearts a bit. That was not so good. This is gonna be. We'll see whether there is a club rough now. Oh my God, so unlucky. Ah. Ah, ace offside in space also. Well, it was too often. It's interesting to see now whether they can make four spades or not. They must be very close. And of course I went three off. Not a six there. Yes, it's hard to see how three off is going to gain you imps, Tor. The club rough was a bit unlucky, though. Let's see what Freddy does with this one. Okay, I, I don't see any reason to bid against the past partner, so I'm just gonna pass. Hmm. Yeah, if, I mean, I never like to let the opponents play on the two level when I only have a doubleton or shorter in their suit. But against the past partner in a week five card uh, suit, I'd, my only bid would be a double, I think, and I'm afraid I'm going to end up in three hearts on a 4-3 fit. I don't like bidding three diamonds. 
So I think I'm actually just gonna pass against the past partner. But I think my dad bid, so we will see. Gonna lead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna lead the Queen of Diamonds. The King of Clubs is also an alternative. But I like to lead from my longest suit when I'm in doubt. Yeah, so it looks like it was safe to bid on this hand, but uh, four card support in spades in uh, the dummy. Eight of clubs. I think uh, I'm gonna let my partner have this trick. Obviously, Declare might have ace to three, but it seems very strange to play like this with ace double nor ace to three. So I think my partner has the ace. So I'm just gonna let. Ah, uh, partner might have four. Yeah, I'm gonna win the queen. I think, yeah. Declare must have short clubs. Partner didn't open the week two hearts, so but Declare surely has some hearts. Then I'm gonna continue diamonds and see how many tricks we can get. Yeah, so it was clearly would have been fine to bid three diamonds when partner at king doubleton, I think. Ah, partner took the ace even though we had ace to four. So now it's not looking good for the defense. He's gonna make this uh, with some over tricks. It looks like the opponents actually missed the game here, so might be not be that bad. And for sure they can make three spades, so Eleven tricks. What happened here? Did you enter the bidding? I let them play two spades. I, I guess I the past never, hand. I never let them play two spades. <laughs> I actually said you were going to bid, but I mean, against the past partner and your only real bid is double. Yeah, also... What happened when I doubled? He gave me four hearts. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you look at the hands, it's not silly to be in four hearts uh, playing I imps. No. But it seems like you only need the spade ace on side by the opening hand. What do you mean? You're missing ace of diamonds, ace king of hearts, and the ace of spades. It's not so. It's good to be in three hearts. It's not good to be in four. Ah, uh, did I miss ace king of diamonds? Ace king of hearts. Ace of diamonds, ace uh, of spades. Uh, so you're off four top tricks. So I would be happy if I saw that dummy in three hearts, but in four, I'm not very happy. He gave me four hearts. Was that the... That was a terrible result for you. You went uh, down four and I let them uh, play two spades, making 11 tricks. Yeah, yeah, they were cold for four spades the other way, of course. But uh... Yeah. But I don't see, was my double too aggressive? Or was I thought... Was I thought... Too tough. I really thought that uh, opposite the past hands, my double would often lead us to. We have about half. I assume that we have about half the points, but a lot of the time we will play three hearts and a four three fit. So it seemed a bit too aggressive in my eyes. Mm -hmm. But I know that uh, I don't like to play against uh, these low level contracts either. But um, was correct this time. So Freddy's prediction of Tor's competitive spirit was correct. The robot's four-heart bid is a bit excitable, 
but on another day, Tor's intrepid intervention might have deterred the opponents from bidding the makeable four spades, and things would have been very different. Another five imps for Helnus the Younger, though, and a 26 nil lead at the halfway point. It could still go either way. There's a lot of exciting action still to come in this challenge, so we're going to have to save the second half for a separate episode. Be sure not to miss it. <laughs>